Uh, Dark Loose G. Hey, Nick, please share with these men and the elf the glory of McNukes, ATF form and all. I would like to see their thoughts on the matter and your reasoning. My, well, I mean, my reasoning is sound. The Second Amendment is silent as to whether or not you can can or can't have nukes. Nukes are arms. You have a right to keep and bear arms, and it shall not be infringed. Fuck anybody who says that any restriction on any arm is at all constitutional. Outside of people who violate the law and lose a particular right, there is no justification for the slightest restriction of any kind on any type of arm or armament Period. And I'm so fucking sick of this idea that we can have, well, we can have reasonable restrictions on guns. <coughs> I got whiskey in my nose. There is no such thing as a reasonable restriction on guns. They are all unreasonable every restriction on guns is unreasonable every single restriction there is no reasonable restriction on guns period mark it with that menstrual blood I am so fucking tired of this. People who say no limits on felons. I actually agree. Once you have gone to prison and are done with probation, your gun rights should be restored. If you don't like it, change the amendment, make a new amendment, but you can't because people are like, I'm actually very skeptical of Congress amending my gun rights away. What about a sword or bow and arrow? Are they arms? Yes. Yes, they are. They absolutely are. Say it in auto tune or the libs won't hear it. Okay, here we go. I got you. There ain't no restrictions on guns. None of them are reasonable because the second amendment says Fuck you, bitches. There you go. I hope that helps. Hope that helps you understand. What about career criminals? How many times can you abuse a right before you lose it for good? Can, can you lose a right for good? Without being actually under, like, if you want a career criminal to lose a right for good, just put them on probation for the rest of their lives. If they're that dangerous, maybe you should put them in prison longer or put them on probation. Parole for that long. That's 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 what I say. Look, if you're going to let if you're going to say, "Well, you're not on parole. You have no government monitoring. We think you're good enough to reintegrate into society, but you can't vote, you can't have guns." I mean, does that that doesn't make sense. If they're not able to vote and have guns, why are they being let back into society? They're going to pick up an axe, a rock, uh, a sock, and beat someone to death with it? I don't trust it. 